In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus FeCl3, barium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I've already done that here. If you need some help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description of this video. Once we've balanced the molecular equation, we write the state for each substance. We have this chart here that can help us. Barium hydroxide, that's considered right here, barium hydroxide, to be a strong base. Because it's a strong base, we say it'll dissociate into its ions. It's going to be a strong electrolyte. So we're going to write AQ after that, aqueous. FeCl3 chlorides are very soluble. Put an aqueous there. We have another chloride here, aqueous. And when we look at our strong bases, these are the common strong bases, we don't see FeOH3. In fact, most hydroxides are insoluble with the exception of these here. So we're going to put S. It's going to be insoluble and it's going to be a solid. So when these react, this will be a precipitate. A little bit of it will dissolve, but very little. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we said this is a strong base, it's a strong electrolyte. Barium in group 2, so it's 2 plus, and then the hydroxide, that's always 1 minus. So I have three barium ions, and I'll write the states later, I won't write that right now. Then I have two hydroxides times the three, six hydroxide ions. When we look at chlorine, the chloride ion is always 1 minus. We have three of them, that means this iron has to be 3 plus. So we have two iron 3 ions, so that's 2 Fe 3 plus, plus 2 times the 3 chloride ions, 6 chloride ions. And those are the reactants. For the products, we have barium group 2, 2 plus chloride, 1 minus. So we have 3 of the barium ions, plus 3 times 2, 6 chloride ions. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to write FeOH3 for our iron 3 hydroxide. Now this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions, which appear on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I can see in the reactants here, I have three barium ions. And then here in the products, I have three barium ions. We cross those out. I see I have six chloride ions products, six chloride ions, cross them out. But everything else, that's unique. That gives us our net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus FeCl. You'll notice that charge is conserved. I have 6 times the 1 minus, that's 6 minus. 2 times 3 plus is 6 plus. So the 6 minus and the 6 plus, they balance out. We have a neutral product here. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on each side as well, so mass is conserved. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.